Next event on the track is the under 17 girls, 4 by 100 metres. This is time final number two. From lane two, we have Berwick. Three, Mentone. Four, Keelor. Lane five is Geelong. Lane six is Knox. Seven is Cranbourne. And in lane eight, we have... On your marks. Set. So off to a great start here in the second time final of the under 17 girls. Really great start there by the athletes from Geelong at the moment. They're in lane five, but they're running very, very well at the moment. Their change is already done and completed, as is the outside for Coburg too in lane eight. But it is Geelong running very strong at the moment down the back straight. They're from lane five. Lane six is also running well, which is Knox. So we'll see those three teams run out pretty well closely together. Knox get the baton change first, then Coburg and Geelong. We'll see how they come into the final stages of this race and actually who will be the competitors that will be placing to get potential medals. But it does look like we've got Knox first to change, then Geelong. Mentone have come up into that mix. Coburg still aren't out of it just at this stage. But it is Knox coming down to the line. They're going to take out first. Really late charge here by the Geelong athletes for second. And third place might just go to Coburg if they can get across the line. Looks like they do. Knox, uh, sorry, Coburg over Mentone, Berwick, Keelor, and Cranbourne. That rounds up the under-17 girls, 4 by 100 metres, time final.